I think a lot of people feel like homeschool needs to fit into a certain box, certain hours of the day, a certain way that you do it. And I'm going to tell you that after about seven years of homeschooling, I have learned that this is not true. And I'm going to share more about it in this video with you today. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is A Common Life. I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids, ages five through 13. And like I said, we've been homeschooling for about seven years. And I will tell you that when I first started homeschooling, I had been a, a teacher at a private high school. I felt like school needed to fit into certain hours of the day. I felt like you had to sit at a desk and you had to be organized and you had to do things in certain order. And I have learned over the past seven or so years that that does not have to be the case, that you can really make homeschool to be whatever you want it to be. And one of my biggest faults in those early years was that I was completely unflexible. I said, we have to do school now. This is what we're going to do. It's going to fit into these certain hours of the day and that's it. And I, you know, I wouldn't go out to meet friends at a park. I wouldn't interrupt our day to have a fun impromptu learning activity. I just felt so I don't know, boxed in to what I felt like homeschool needed to be. And now, so many years later, I have learned that the flexibility of homeschool is honestly one of my favorite things. Over the past week, we've been doing homeschool, but we have also been just randomly going down to our pond and checking on the frogs and the toads and the turtles and the frog and toad eggs and the ducks and the geese and just kind of watching them and observing them and having these impromptu nature studies. Five years ago, I never would have done that. I would have said, no, we've got to do our schoolwork. And then maybe if we have time at the end of the day, we'll go do that. But just on Friday at like one or something like that, even though the kids were still doing their schoolwork, we went down to the pond and we checked things out and we, you know, just observed things because it was really, really interesting. And I didn't want for the kids to miss out on that. And so we just kind of moved things around a little bit. Now, there, you do run into some problems as your kids get older because they have more work. And so if you do take that hour out in the middle of the day, that does mean that your homeschool is going to be pushed back until four or five or six, depending on what your schedule is. But um, I personally feel like it's worth it, especially if you have children who are more independent workers who can get their work done. It's not as big of a deal. For younger children, honestly, in those early grades of elementary school, they really only need like two and a half, three hours worth of like really solid hardcore work and then they can have all that extra time. So for me, I used to think I had to get that school done, you know, 8.30 in the morning, right away, get all of their work done, and then we could have time for play. But I have been more flexible now where like we will just meet friends in the morning at the park and we will do impromptu field trips and things like that, or even go to the grocery store if we have to. And then we'll just come home and get our work done. It doesn't have to fit into this perfect ordered schedule. And one of the things that I really love doing is having more of a routine rather than a schedule. When I first started homeschooling, I did everything by the minute. I even timed my kids. I would say, you have 15 minutes to do this assignment. I would have a timer on the table. It was really honestly not fun. They didn't like it. And in the end, I didn't really like it either. And it really boxed us in. Like I really felt like we had to do all these things in a certain amount of time. So my advice to you, you know, if this works well with your personality and the personalities of your children, to just be more flexible. And that doesn't mean every single day be more flexible. That means once in a while, you know, a day, a once a day, a once a day a week, one day a week or something like that, um, or whenever you need to be flexible. If you have to do um, appointments during the day, do those because that's when most people are at school anyway. So for us, our dentist will do all five of our kids at the same time. They just line them up in their chairs and we'll do it during the school day because we can. Um, and there's lots of other things that we can do like that that I wouldn't have done so many years ago just because I felt like I had to get my homeschool done and that was the most important thing. So that's my advice to you, especially if you are a new homeschooler, especially if you have older kids that you're homeschooling. It is okay to have them do school after three o'clock. It is okay for them to be doing school after dinner if they have to. Honestly, it's really not that big of a deal. Think about all the kids that are going to public school. They're doing homework when they get home. And so if your kids are able to have these really fun opportunities, learning opportunities, field trips, nature studies, things like that during the day, during what would be the school day, and then they have to do some work in the evening, I feel like it's worth that trade-off. So that's my tip for you today. I hope it's helpful. And um, if you'd like to see more of these tips, I'm going to be sharing them almost every Wednesday until about mid-May or so. I have a bunch of them planned out for you guys. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see those. And I hope you have a great day.